Big Hellman in the house. Dave What's Hellman. Up, y'all? They let Those me get on the same side like this. He's my guy, Dave. Dave is back. Are you hearing us? I heard that. I, I wonder who we're talking about. I wonder who we're talking about. I don't know. Who are we talking about? I don't know. Somebody. Is it? A, you, th- <laughs> You, no, you, think you think it's somebody? You think I mean, it's, you it's you talking about me? I don't know. Hasbro, Hasbro, Crime? You think it's talking about me? I don't know. Hasbro, 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 People root for eyeballs, maximum attention. I mean, the, we got bills to pay. We got re, we, we want people watching. We want people reading what we do. I write stories. I do podcasts. Cowboys losing is good for business. Why? They're the most polarizing team in American sports. It's, it's the Cowboys. It's the Yankees. It's the Lakers. If you don't love them, you hate them. If you're not a Cowboy fan, you know a Cowboy fan. They're at your office. They're in your family. They're annoying. If you're not part of it, they're annoying. So what draws the most eyeballs the team you don't like going down mm-hmm. and the team with the biggest fan base being pissed off about something. So, yes, people root for it because it drives the most conversation. I'm not saying that you, Joy, hate the Cowboys. I don't think that's true. But I think the Cowboys losing is good for everybody because the fans are pissed off and the people that don't like them have something to crow about. We know the dude on the there's a guy on the four letter network who wears a cowboy hat after every loss. He plays it up. Got the garbage can on the set yesterday <laughs> after the Cowboys <laughs> lost to the Bills. Throwing the, a. Can we do the, where's the MVP in the trash yeah, for we, Jalen Hurts? We, were, we, were we don't voting. do that for anybody well, we else. We were voting, bro. We, were, we, were we, voting. Don't, <laughs> we don't do that for any other team. Mm-hmm. Where's, the, where's the outrage that you the Atlanta what? Falcons lost to the Panthers the other day? We don't do this for anybody else. That's all oh, I'm saying. Cool, so in that regard, hey, hold on, Dave. Micah hold is Dave. dead on right. There's no Dude, debate about this. All, Hey, that seed be hot, dude. The, that seed be hot. <laughs> the, the, Fal- the Falcons are not good, mm. and the Panthers are terrible, right? So why don't we talk about them? But hold on, let's just slow down for a second. Mm. So this is a problem with the Cowboys, right? Y'all want all the credit for everything, right? So I've watched the Cowboys have so many players that are just average or above average get so much love, right? I won't even go to Dak, right? I won't even go to Dak. You sure? Let's say Miles, uh, Miles, uh, uh, no, Miles yeah. Austin. Remember him? Oh, wow, we're going way back. Yeah, he yeah. just got him a Kardashian or anything. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> If he didn't play for the Cowboys, we would never even talk about Miles Austin, right? Okay. Let's, I got, let me keep this. We had a Pro Bowl season or two. Yeah. But. If Dak Prescott played for the Titans, had the same exact numbers, the same exact uh, accolades, will we talk about him? I'm asking you a question. Right now, yeah. I mean, if, it, if, if, a, if the quarterback of the Titans had 28 touchdowns and let, six picks, okay, let's, let's, let's take this year five off. picks, let, whatever let's say it this, is. This year is like historical for him. He's, I mean, this is, he looks really, really good. So let's say this year away. Let's let, let last year or a year before that. Will we talk so much about him if he didn't play for. We I'm might, not, that, we might that, not talk bad like, about him. We might not talk bad time. about him. We would, when we he would talk about him just as much if we talk about Kirk Cousins. They the same person for real. For other than this year, no, so. they, they look at that. They the I'm same. So I'm so happy. Okay. Anyway. Numbers, anyway. Man. All I'm saying is this: a guy like Michael Parsons is a great player, right? Great player, phenomenal. I think that it helps him that he plays for the Cowboys. We hype him up even more. Right? I feel if, like if, if Miles Garrett played for the Cowboys, you know how much credit he would give? Oh, my God. He, he would have won Defensive Player of the Year already. So my thing is, as much as we want to talk about the Cowboys, because everybody does it because they're a big brand, like you talked about, it's the other side of things. If you lose, we're going to talk about it. And I've been on teams when the Cowboys wasn't super great, and we didn't talk about them every block, but we still talked about them enough. So it's a gift and a curse. Mm-hmm. I don't worry about crying about that. I completely You worry about that. the media and all that. I completely and then worry about that. stopping James Cook. Ooh, he had a career day. Oh, cool. <laughs> For real, though. Right. 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 I mean, he's... Come on, now. I will say this. Mm. Micah is... I can't speak to everybody in the media. I am in the media. I'm I've in the been media in the media too, for a very long time. <laughs> a very long time. Lots of people in the media do want the Cowboys to lose. No, I'll no. speak for myself. We are on speak, and I will speak for myself. I don't want the Cowboys to lose. I don't care if the Cowboys lose. In fact, if you could all do us a favor here at Fox and make it to the Super Bowl next year when we have it, that would, that be, would nice. be amazing. That would be really nice. I love the Cowboys. They give us news. They give us things to talk about. When they're bad, they're fun. When they're good, they're fun. And when they're great, they're even better. It is of no consequence to me whether the Cowboys win or lose. My mother is a lifelong Cowboys fan. It's actually good for me. She's happy. She's very upset. She was very upset. She was rage texting me over that game. All right? Oh, my mom would be happy. I don't have any problem with Cowboys fans. I don't have any vendetta against them. 
What I will say is, if you take the media out of it, because I do think that Twitter gets kind of mushed in with the media when in fact it's just the, re <laughs> the reaction of fans. Yes, the Cowboys are a big, massive brand. And people root for the Cowboys to win, who like the Cowboys. Mm. Everybody else, which includes millions and millions and millions of people, do not want the Cowboys to win. And yes, they do in fact rejoice when the Cowboys struggle and they're happy when they lose. Mm. Particularly teams that are good year in and year out who don't get our attention because they get irritated that we talk so much about the Cowboys because the Cowboys are such a big brand and their team doesn't get attention. You think Eagles fans are happy when the Cowboys win? No! Then you can put the Giants in that and you can put Washington in that and how about the rest of the NFC? So all of this noise gets mushed together with the media wants the Cowboys lose. Yeah, there are lots of fans that want the Cowboys to lose. Lots and lots and lots of people are not Cowboys fans. In fact, more people are not Cowboys fans than are Cowboys fans. So that noise that you hear is people rooting against the Cowboys because that's what sports is. That's what fans are supposed to do. But I think that goes back to my point, though. And I, I agree with everything you just said, but... The number of people, A, the number of people pulling for the Cowboys is good for business, right? Correct. The number of people pulling against the Cowboys is also good for business. To go back to Shady's point, if the Cowboys were the Atlanta Falcons right now, if the Cowboys were six and seven and just lost to lose the division lead, no matter how mediocre they are, you don't think we'd be leading every show with, does Mike McCarthy deserve to get fired? Mm. Are the Cowboys the biggest that's disappointment true. in the league? Yeah. It's, that's, that's what we do with this team. I will say, my advice to Micah is, buddy, you're in year three. This is just the reality. Yeah. This is what it's always going to be with the Dallas Cowboys. They're in the NFC East. It's, it's, the, it's the king. This is the king division of the king league in terms of eyeballs, attention, this comes with it, man. I don't know what else to say, but I do think he's got a point. And not only that, man. I mean, I ride for Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys up here. Mm. And I've said this before on the show, and Shady, you're exactly right. <clears throat> you play for the Dallas Cowboys, right? You get a lot of praise when you guys do well, even when it's just an average football game, mm. right? You get a lot of praise because the star on your helmet. You get a lot more attention than a lot of these players that are balling around the National Football League strictly because the star on your helmet, strictly because we talk about you a lot on TV. When you do bad, you are going to get the same amount of attention, if not more. Mm -hmm. That's what comes with playing with the Dallas Cowboys. It's not like the media's on you and all that. Like, you said year three. He ain't balling harder than Miles Garrett or, or my man mm. T.J. Watt right, mm. now. right now. Not even Max Crosby to me. Mm. But he's getting the most attention and the most praise because point. the star on his helmet. Mm. So it is a blessing and a curse, right? Mm. I played for Coach Mike. I ride for Coach Mike. But Mike wasn't getting all this attention and coverage in Green Bay <laughs> no, with yeah, Aaron yeah. Rodgers, and he won a mm. chip. Yeah. And he got a street named after him in Green Bay. So with the star on your helmet, you get a lot more attention. A lot of it's good when you're winning, and a lot of it is going to be bad when you lose it. And the faster Micah accepts that, the better his podcast going to be, and the better he's going to be able to settle down in Dallas and say, listen, when we lose, I know it's coming. Hey. When we win, we're going to get this. Point blank, period. That's what comes with the and, star and his, on your head. And I will say, does his podcast be popping, though? His no question. Popping, right? If Miles Garrett had a podcast, would it be as big as Michael Parsons? No. If you switch the teams, though, no. well, yeah. it would be You see what I'm saying? So I don't like all that, though. Like, take the good with the best. That's in life. You know who, has a, you know who has a really good understanding of that, in my opinion? It's Dak Prescott. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah it's a tough no, lesson. I've, I've always felt yeah. that Dak has... Dak is great. That's why I think Dak is so perfect for this team. Mm -hmm. Because he, he's, he has, for the most part, handled the media and attention. No question. At a level that, mo like, I couldn't do it. Yeah. He, he, he says the right thing. Mm -hmm. Almost yeah. all the time he says the right thing. He's had some moments here and there where he blames the media, but okay, I'll give you a pass over eight years of yeah. doing that, of being the face of the biggest brands in all of sports. I, I just think, I think that it really does get muddled with one, it is the Cowboys. You're going to get the most attention and you're also going to get the most criticism. Mm -hmm. But there is this idea that people like to root against the Cowboys. And that's true. They do like to root <laughs> against the Cowboys because everybody is not a Cowboys fan. Yeah. Right. There are people who genuinely hate the Cowboys. Do you remember when Tom Brady was winning all those Super Bowls in, in oh, yeah. New England? Yeah, the Patriots? In New England. Was anyone happy about that that wasn't a Patriots fan? I, ain't gonna lie. I hope they lost their game. Every game! Yeah, Every yeah. game! I, lie, I, I had to rewire my brain when Tom Brady was in Tampa. Like, I want him, I want him to do well. Like, I, this, is, this is a man that I rooted against for decades, and now I want him to succeed because it, there's, it is ingrained in fans and in local media to not root for teams that beat them. The, just, other, the interesting part about that 
that too. And I'm sure, especially like AFC East fans are probably still sick of the Patriots, but like people aren't hanging on to that grudge four years later. You know, like the Patriots are down so, so bad. Oh no, we, we, we love it. I just, we Even, love okay, it. would you love it as much as if the Cowboys were going through a three and 10 season? I don't never want the Cowboys to have a three yeah, and 10 season. Not, I not never you. want oh, the Cowboys the, to have a three and 10 season. The proverbial you. Like if, if the, like the public, if the Cowboys okay, were three and it, 10. Look, there's, this, there's, this, there's only one of this over here, so we don't have to, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to come up with a different That's example. That's fair. My, my thing is like, and, and Mike is such a great player, so I, why do you care so much about what the media says, right? I, I, that part I understood. Like, I, I get it. Now, some players, um, depending on who says things, right? I remember when, uh, at the time, um, uh, Warren Sapp, mm-hmm. he was on TV, right? Was it Warren? Yeah, Warren Sapp. And some things he would say, like, I, I would care what he would say. Like, he was a great player. I love everything he did. So maybe that would, like, get, like bother me a little bit. But some of the media is like, why, why do you care so much? I would, I mean, because where, where's my I'm phone? A, where's my phone? This, I mean, I mean how, how, how many hours a day do you spend looking at this? Yeah, like, I, 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 I get it if it gets quick, to you. Quick story. My, my first year in Philadelphia, right, I, I was rookie. Was, you know, I was nothing like Westbrook. Westbrook was the star there. He leaves, goes to the uh, 49ers. And the writer was like, oh, my God, what are they going to do now? Who's going to be the running back? So Sean McCoy has a, a little boy body and this and that. Blah, 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 right? It's killing me. Yeah. I was so mad. I can't wait to go to work and see this dude. When I rode up to go check him, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you said this about me? Dude had big, <laughs> thick glasses, big, thick glasses. His stomach was all was way over his belt. He had some crazy looking big boots. And I'm looking at this dude like, you couldn't be Shetty McCoy in, 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 for an hour, yeah. right? So after that, I never even like entertained the media like that. It was like whatever. But, but not only that, for like, me, like on. when I played, I didn't have Instagram. I still don't. Uh, I only got Twitter because I'm on TV now. I don't know. I didn't how have guys, none of that. I don't know how guys but do it. But you're saying this stuff on a podcast. <laughs> You are that, that's oh, media. He, oh, he the media. You are the media. You are the media up. right now. And we playing some of your media stuff right now on our show. So at the same time, man, like I say, with the star on your helmet, you get a lot of benefits. Right? Yes, I'm do. sure Michael Parsons walk around in Dallas, uh, Harrisburg, wherever he wants, eat for free. Yeah. Right? A lot of benefits come with that. And you're going to get a lot of criticism. Point blank, period. Accept it. The faster he's, he accepts it, he'll be like our guy, Dak Prescott. I, I, I do think that right. this particular yes. year is very unique because the Eagles are down. Giants look terrible. Washington is down. So they, at this part of the season, they're feeling really good, obviously, before this week. Dak has had a, an MVP level type of year. So, they so say? it feels like, like any type of criticism is really hating because they, like, it's so much, they want so much acknowledgement for what hasn't fully been accomplished yet. Well, I but think, also, really, and, really quick, and, really yeah, quick, go ahead, go ahead. So, so I don't lose my thought. I think what Micah wants, and he's never going to get, is he wants us to criticize other teams like the Cowboys. Yes. And going. that's not going to happen ever, nope. Dave. You know what I'm it's, saying? It's so not fair, if he's sure. waiting on that, then he's always going to be saying this little stuff. I got, they're, they are polarizing. Every other team has haters, but like liter- it, with the Cowboys, it's fans and haters. There is no in between. It's not fair. Like I, I admire that Micah Parsons wants people to treat everybody that way. It's just not the reality, and that is the it's the it's the byproduct of this America's team thing. It's the byproduct mm. of the owner of the team being in the the headlines five days out of the week. It's just. Like, I, I'll say it one more time. It's not like, fair, but this is the reality of who the Cowboys are. It doesn't make do, him wrong, hey, do though. I, do I it doesn't hate, make him wrong. Do you hate on the Cowboys, Dave? Yes. yes. Or, or, you said I did? Yes. Yes. Well, yes. I mean, one more time. Yes. yes. Last, and if you think you don't. <laughs> well, well, last year I did have dinner with Jerry Jones. See, there you okay. go. Jerry's, Jerry's, yeah. Jerry's, Jerry's a business man. Five, one, twelve. Is that it? I mean, <laughs> but Jerry's 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 Jerry ain't worried about the media. Yeah, Jerry. Jerry. Jerry love the media. Jerry. I don't hate on the Cowboys when I ate with the owner. How's that? That don't mean you ain't. Those two things don't have to go together at all. So you saying I'm a cowboy hater? That's what you saying? Yes. Are you saying that to yes. yes. that Joe? Well, Joy, yes. You, well, might, you might have spent some time in Philadelphia. Joy, yes. My mom told me this, son. If you're gonna do something, go to the best of your ability. And you so do it. Hey, hey, you be hating good yeah. too. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.